Shalom everyone, doing a video on uh, basic lap booking. And this was something that I struggled with the first year of homeschool because I did not know all of the lingo, you know, notebooking as to lap booking, as to file folder games, as to, you know, all sorts of things and uh, lesson planning and all of that. I had no clue because my kids, uh, my older kids were in um, high school when I pulled them out. And um, actually the oldest one was in high school, my second one was in high school, and my third one was about to go into high school. Well, she was starting her ninth grade year. So I had no idea, I never heard of it, any of those terms or what have you, because we were schooling, we, you know, they were going to regular public school. And um, I had started doing this, uh, started homeschooling my oldest son and my two little ones and um, with my two little ones I am learning quite a bit about homeschooling and uh, what it entails and um, I'm really enjoying it I must say uh, one of uh, these days very soon I'll be doing a video about you know our journey because I realize that I just have this channel up and I'm putting out these videos and I'm not really discussing um, my journey reason being is because I did have a previous channel and a lot of my followers from my previous channel came over to this channel so they kind of knew uh, what our journey already was but again but um, now seeing that there are tons of new people out there um, I think it's time to reshare if you will our journey um, into homeschooling so one of the things, um, so I just wanted to go over this with you really quick. Now, um, these printouts here, you can get from uh, homeschoolshare.com. And um, basically, you would print them out. You know, you would find a book, a book of your interest, or, you know, if you're doing five in a row or what have you, five in a row um, is a curriculum program that I was um, pretty much interested in knowing. I heard a lot about five in a row, five in a row, five in a row, but I did not exactly know uh, what the concept of it was or what have you. However, in any event, um, I picked up this book, um, The Big Green Pocket Book by Candace Ransom. And um, we enjoyed the little story about a girl and her mom's journey throughout the day and the different things that they did so then now we um, made a lap book out of it okay she had a box of crayons in her bag so um, we did crayons here and then it has a little pocket and then you go through you know the different colors of the crayons or what have you so then you turn and you open it over here and it has three green things. You open it up, number one, broccoli, number two, a frog, number three, a leaf. Okay, and this is just how we did it. You know, lap booking is, you know, it goes according to you and how you can do it. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just, um, you know, you'll just be using a file folder or whatever you can you know come up with and then here it says my name because she typed her name um, with a typewriter so then you you know you would have your child type your name in the type their name in the computer and put it right there mama's pocketbook is blue so just open up the little flap and there it is right there and then L is for lollipop so have your child trace the L's and like I said, I picked this up at um, these printables at uh, Homeschool Share. And this is just how I um, put together this lap book. These are our first lap books, like I said, from our first year of homeschooling. And I just wanted to show you what it was all about because I know hearing all of these different lingos coming at me, I was like, what is it? What is it? What is it? And, um, you know, people would explain it to me, but 
it, it still just didn't click. I'm a very visual person. I need to see it. I need to see it being done. I need to be doing it as well. So, and then you have your ice cream because I think at one point in the story, the little girl had gotten ice cream. And here are the cone, uh, scoops so you can stack it up with that. And here is instructions for um you know instructions about uh some of the activities uh that you can do uh pertaining to the uh, story in the book and then also this is this little green um this is her green big green pocketbook and it has all of the things that she had inside of it so for example it had the little um orange uh, candies it had a little notepad uh, calendar I mean and it had a keychain that she had gotten and a box of crayons from over here and it had a lollipop in it so all of these things happen and then over here here are some uh, additional ideas so I don't know what that other thing was for okay so this is to make a green pocketbook cake and um, so that is one that we made. So this is basically what a lap book looks like. Just in case you are starting off homeschooling and really don't know what it is, this is what it looks like. And, it, and you would go based on the story. And once you print out the printables from homeschoolshare.com, then it kind of like, you know, you kind of like get, okay, you read through the story and then, you know, they take like little, um, bits and pieces from the story and um, included in the lap book. So another lap book that we had made was corduroy. And of course, as you can see, when my um, little ones were younger, they colored in corduroy. And then we have um, mystery toy. So you get three clues. I don't even think I finished this. No, I didn't. Okay, and then um, F is for friend, and then button patterns, and over here we have my rhyme, and then on the shelf just sitting there was a very small brown bear. Not a single girl or boy wanted to buy corduroy, so, you know, just really cute. And this was our very first one, as you can see. They really um, helped out with that, and I thought it was sweet. Um, we haven't made too many of these because I just did not want to get into, you know, collecting a whole lot, even though they're really good, and maybe this year we'll get into it again, but I'm not sure. Um, but in any event, I love them. You know, like something like this is just really dear because now it brings me back to our first year. This is our uh, fourth year homeschooling this year. And um, like I said, I'm really enjoying it. And, um, you know, I just wanted to share these little things with you that I struggled with um, with my uh, first year of homeschooling. So uh, this will be part one of this little mini series, okay? Part two coming up, stay tuned.